Hey there, this is Nate with Staple. Welcome to installment number four on our series of why you should be using OpenSense as your firewall and or router in your network. So today we're gonna talk about the dashboard. You've, you've seen this in just about every video because we start here um, and we've never really discussed it. But it gives you really good quick insight into your system, what's going on, and I think it's it's definitely worth going over because it really is a great starting point. They designed it very well and made it very simple to use. And so we're just going to kind of walk through some of the aspects of why it, it is a really one of the better dashboard uh, tools that we've seen in uh, Firewall. Uh, and, you know, not to say this is a unique feature because uh, PFSense has a dashboard and it's, it behaves very similarly. Um, but I really like the way that they've put this together and just the overall design of the, uh, of the widgets and how you can uh, change things around. And just the, the quick, na quick nature of the information that's presented to you is, is really good. Okay, so you have what are, the, are called widgets, and you can do things like collapse them. Uh, you can delete them. Okay. Uh, so when you make a change to the dashboard, you, you add, delete, edit, whatever, and then um, you have to save the settings for them to be applied. So let's go ahead and add some of the what I would consider the most useful widgets depending on your environment. Okay, so if we click Add Widget, we're presented with a, a list of available widgets. And this list will be different depending on what you have installed in the system. But for purposes of this quick video here, let's add back our, let's see, it was system information. Uh, we're going to add back the interfaces, which was up there. And let's add the gateways, the interface statistics, uh let's see let's add services that's a very useful one i love the traffic graph i just like staring at it for some reason i'm simple i guess um and there's one other one let's see da, da, da. dynamic dns let's add that one okay uh and then you have some of your vpn so if we wanted uh i use wireguard on this system so we'll add wireguard too so that's that's plenty that's plenty of information okay and so when you add the widgets, you can see it says save to load widget. So let's do something. Let's just rearrange these. So I like to keep, let's move the system information over here. We'll put our gateways right above that because that's a, that's a small um, widget. And it's, it gives us the status of our internet connection. So we have two internet connections here. Um, dynamic DNS, that's another one I want to see right away. Uh, interfaces let's do interface statistics here you know what i i don't need to see my interfaces this is more important interface statistics services is very useful um, because we can restart services or we can see this the status of them uh, i'm going to put my graph up here and then wireguard can go down here okay so we're going to save this and now you can see that uh we have two gateways they're both online this is why this is number two, because it's not as great as my other one. <laughs> but it's online, that's great. And then uh, we've got our traffic graph. Here's our statistics, and I'm zoomed way in, so it doesn't look that great. But when I zoom out, do one more, gives us a nice uh, view of, of that. So uh, here's our system information, pretty useful. Not being taxed at all. And then a couple wire guard endpoints that are um, not connected right now. So uh, here's our services. A nice, nice little widget. You can restart them, stop them, see the status very easily. So great dashboard. I mean, it's simple, it's fast. Um, you can change the number of columns. So if you wanted to make it one column, you just scroll. You know, one thing I would recommend if OpenSense is viewing this video is um, a lot of times if you have a lot of information and maybe you just want to see a quick, you know, just one of these real quick, 
is to have a uh, collapse all button or expand all collapse all that would be probably if there was one piece of uh, feedback I would give is add a button to collapse and expand everything okay so real quick the next thing we're gonna just talk about um, and point out is some of these widgets you can edit them you can edit what is shown in the widget so if we expand our traffic graph here um, you can see if I click this pencil which is a little bit darker than say this one where WireGuard um, doesn't allow you to edit there's nothing to edit there so it's grayed out um, but when it's not grayed out you'll see this pencil so you go ahead and click it and depending on the widget you're going to have different options so here um, we're we're adding guest internal Wi-Fi we already had the LAN and Verizon and let's add the the secondary internet okay so go ahead and click Save now when we look at that particular uh, we got to save the settings now when we look at this particular widget we can see there are more there's more detail there's more information now in some cases let's say uh, for example in in this interface statistics I don't need these additional interfaces that I'm not using at the moment so I want to get rid of those I can I can edit and here we got it's a little bit different you see the options are different we're going to hide uh, we don't need this one this one or this one okay I click Save and now we can see that those are no longer there it's just a cleaner um, a cleaner look so that is editing the widget that's it uh, great great little tool um, I think uh, I think it's it's a neat little feature something that again doesn't make it necessarily stand out but it's a very well done just like everything in the system from a software perspective a very well done uh, tool one of the reasons I I'm doing this is so that to, to kind of prep people who are interested in um, building their own network I'm gonna do a full series from start to finish where we go through talking about some basic concepts of networking we then design it uh, we design a network and we kind of walk through doing a good network design and then we build it and and we'll configure it and uh, we'll go through and kind of walk you through the e in, a, in an easy manner as easy as I can make it manner of building out a network that um, would allow you to host your own stuff that um, is secure uh, and just kind of works through all the various components of a of a well designed network, and I'll have some guests uh, on the, on those podcasts, some engineers that are much smarter than me, uh, and so yeah, I think I think that's going to be a good one. And in this world where we rely so heavily on these large providers, and we've given them all of our information, all of our data, and we are literally at their mercy if they turn us off we're done one of the thesis of uh, staple is that you should be independent again with your technology and so we're going to show you how to build your own network properly because it really starts um, the foundation of making hosting easy starts at the network level and so we're going to walk through designing a network using OpenSense as your as your edge and we're going to walk you through making sure that it's it's well designed that you understand why it's designed that way how to use it and how to configure it and troubleshoot it so uh, stay tuned for that it's going to be a long-term project but uh, totally important I believe and there are a lot of good resources out there already but we're going to walk through a very specific suggestion on how to design your network and and why you should be using uh, tools like OpenSense as, as uh, one of the core components so thanks again uh, for checking in, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Take care. Stay free.